everyone welcome back to my channel i went to dollar tree to get just a few items that i needed for some upcoming valentine craft videos and uh this year i made a, a thing saying to myself do not overbuy and use what you have so even though i'm doing some hauls and stuff i'm not buying just because oh it's cute and it's only a buck I'm only buying it because I need it for a specific project and I'm going to try to utilize the crafting items that I have in the house because let's face it, I hit clearance like crazy and I do have a ton of supplies already. And then um, I did pick up some food items that I found at Dollar Tree. So let's get right in it. Um, a couple of items that I needed for some Valentine's projects I picked up and then I did notice they had some Easter decor out and you know Dollar Tree if you don't grab it when you see it you will not find it so let's just dig right in I picked up these heart picks I have some of these in the past videos that were like glittered and they were in pink and red and these are like um I don't know what they are they look like what's made out of like tinsel but I'll tell you this, they're making a mess in the bag. Can you see all that little stuff? But I loved the hot pink color in them. So I think this will be beautiful. So I picked up them for a project. Um, some floral tape. We were working on making my daughter um, flower crowns. And I could not find my floral tape. So my son spotted this in the aisle for me and grabbed that for me. I picked up some of these glitter foam shaped hearts. They are, you get a pack of 12 and there is red and pink hearts in there. So I'll be using them. I also found the rabbit shaped ones and you get 12 in here and you get pink, yellow, and blue. I love all the um, fun stuff. I see a glare, hang on one sec. Well, I kind of still see the glare, but let's try it anyway. So then I got um, these, my son picked these out, these golden egg picks. Um, he's a good crafter. He likes to help me do a lot of stuff. So I'm not sure what he wanted this for, but some art project in mine. So he threw that in the wagon. Then I picked up these foam sheets with this glitter heart on them. They're just adorable. Even if you didn't use them for Valentine's Day, you get, um, let's see, looks like three sheets. And they did come in red and a bunch of other patterns. So check it out. I love these. They do come in handy for projects. So I'll be using that. And then I could go crazy with the ribbon. I did limit it to three because like I said, it gets too addicting. You just start throwing everything in your wagon. But I tried to pick, um, three colors that I'm going to be working on a project with. So I got the pink and it has like a little iridescent shimmer to it. And then the purple has like a little sparkle glitter to it. So that one was real pretty. And then the Easter egg with all the pretty pastel colors. I just love Easter. One year we even did um, an Easter Christmas tree in my house and we did it all Easter items. So yeah okay next up we've got um this heart shaped glass bowl so yeah i was hoping they had that i still cannot find in my dollar tree which i'm gonna go hit like three more this week is those glass um not glass mirrored squares i cannot find them and I really wanted to do a project with them, but okay. There's trucks all over. It, a telephone pole fell down and they've been working. Okay. Dollar Tree got these bins back in stock. Um, last year I had hauled a bunch of these essential collapsible bins in this like beigey pattern, which is so neutral and it goes so well with my living room decor. And I managed to find some other sizes that I didn't have, but they're great for like books, toys. I actually use them to hide my crafting supplies in my main upper living room because I don't have a craft room. I so wish I had a craft room. So I have to make like a makeshift section 
in that room and like disguise it the best I can. So I picked up um, two of these in this smaller size, which is eight and a half by 11 and a half by four and a half, uh, three quarter tall. So it's like a more rectangular long shape. So I picked up two of those. That was a new size. And then this was my favorite size. It's the nine by nine by eight. It's like a perfect square cube. And I just love them. They have the little handle. And um, I'll show you how I display them. So I wound up getting three of these. And I they did not have the larger ones because they do make a bigger cube. So I will be on the lookout knowing they got them back in. And these do come in a dark brown for anybody who has that darker tone in their home. They're great. So I was happy to see them. Then I picked up, the lady ran out of paper to wrap, so she used tissue. Um, is this shaped vase? I just thought this was really, really nice. So I have a project coming up with that. So I got two of those. And then I got one of these champagne glasses. I have a craft I'll be doing with that one. So I got that. And then I picked up the famous Dollar Tree candlesticks that everybody gets. Um, they're always good to have. And I think I only have one left in my supply. So I needed, I got two more of those. And I think that's it in that bag. And then a couple of people, I saw Clara Slate was hauling the dial soaps and mine did finally get them in. So I got uh, one in each scent that I found. I got Water Blossom in the blue and it's a nice eight ounce bottle in like this unique shape. So um, one can never have enough soap with four kids. So I just buy it when I see it. This one is the yellow raspberry and black sugar, deep cleansing, moisturizing hand soap. So that's another good one. And if you price dial in the regular grocery stores, it is not cheap. And then this one is the coconut lime. Um, so I got this one. So I got one of each fragrance of those. And I think we're up to the food stuff, right? Yeah. And then um, just some snacks. Now I got... This was a shock to see in my Dollar Tree, Frankenberry. Uh, and it doesn't expire until um, June of 2017. So I love Frankenberry. It turns your cereal pink. So I got Frankenberry and Abu Berry. They did have the Count Chocula, but I don't like that one. Although now that I think about it, I think my one son did. I should have got it. Um, then I got the Strawberry Wafers. These are so good. I picked up a pack of those made in Brazil. Then I found the Rice Krispie Treats. You get one, you get five in a pack. So I got two of those. And then some honey wheat pretzels. My one son loves those. And then a graham cracker pie crust made by Hospitality. Nine inch pie crust to make. Um, a chocolate pudding pot. So I think that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. If I get to run to Dollar Tree um, tomorrow, I'll add to this video. If not, I'll just post another one. I will include, um, include some pics of some new items that I saw in the store. Um, I'm probably going to do that a lot more and I'm probably going to start filming in Dollar Tree. Because honestly, I'm not going to keep buying products that I don't need, but I do want to share it with everybody else. And I do love to watch everyone else's Shop With Me videos to see what's out in the stores. This way I know what I want to buy when I go. So I just think it's a helpful thing for all us Dollar Tree people that are crazed over Dollar Tree. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. The next few weeks we'll be doing Valentine craft videos, uh, more meal prep videos, uh, a couple of recipes going up that people were requesting. Please follow me on Instagram and some people do follow me on Facebook. Um, Facebook is eh, but I am more on Instagram. I love Instagram. Um, but I do post on Facebook too, but I do love Instagram better. So if you follow me on Instagram, I post there daily. And I do more um, updated things, but I'm going to start doing Instagram Live. 
So uh, check that out when I'm in the store. So hope to see you all soon in my next video and talk to you all then. Bye for now.